Hello, Taylor. This is your ex-boyfriend, Chance. And I say ex-boyfriend because I have no interest in coming back to you. I'm sure you're probably upset. You're probably angry. You're probably mad that I changed my passwords. And that's fine. You can be mad. Because after what I saw in that interview with Marty where you bashed on me, I have no interest in talking to you ever again. I mean, you sit there and you say that you were defending me. No, the fuck you weren't. You were bashing me. The entire time, you were fucking bashing me. And anybody with a half brain will fucking tell you, if you love somebody, you don't fucking bash on them the way that you did me. I watched the entire fucking interview. And Taylor, you are fucking disgusting for doing that. After everything I fucking did for you. After every fucking thing I did for you. After I went out of my way to give you several chances to prove yourself. After I tried to help you get away from the troll shit. You proceeded to go right back to it. Despite the fucking ground rules that I laid out for you, you still proceeded to go right back to the fucking bullshit. After I sat there and I treated your kids, Ollie and Isaac, as if they were my own motherfucking flesh and blood. As if they were my own flesh and blood. You still proceeded to talk shit on me. Why? Because you're a fucking troll. That's why. And if you're not a troll, you're fake as fuck. I mean, what kind of example are you setting for your sons? By doing OnlyFans, like you did. Now, I'm not bashing you for that. But it does play into that. That's a part of your past. You have to accept that. What do you think you're teaching Ollie and Isaac when you do the shit that you do? When you have somebody that actually loves and cares about you, that's willing to bend over backwards for you, that's willing to defend you no matter what. When you have someone that's willing to defend you the way that I have. And then you turn around and you fucking stab me in the back. By bashing on me in a fucking interview. Bitch, what's wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? I did everything. I went out of my way for you. I stuck up for you. I defended you. And how did you repay me? With an interview by stabbing me in the back. You repaid me by doing that interview and stabbing me in the back when I wasn't looking. And then what else did you do? Mm. What else did you fucking do? Other than sit there and use me. Like you did. You say you didn't use me. And I can already say. I can already see. You're going to sit there and say that you did not use me. Yes you did. And don't even try to come after me illegally. Because guess what bitch. I have all the fucking proof. To back up everything I've said. I have the interview. And I have the screenshot to show that you were fucking using me. You know, Taylor, you make good women that actually would like to treat people like me right. 
You make them look like shit. By doing what you do. You make them look like shit. You made me look like shit. Because I sat here and I vouched for you. I went out of my way for you. Bent over backwards. Even though my mental health was deteriorating. And was so bad. That I was physically sick. What did I do? I continued to get up on panel and fucking defend your ass. And how do you fucking repay me? By stabbing me in the fucking back and talking shit behind my back to music bitch face Marty. Whom I want nothing to do with. And you know what's sad? What this, this is what really, this is what really fucking pisses me off. I gave you the keys to getting away from the troll shit. I gave you the fucking keys. I laid down the rules that you needed to follow to be able to successfully get away from them just as I have. But what did you do? Proceed to go right back to them like a fucking dumbass. Which tells me you're not fully ready to get away from them. And that you enjoy the drama. And you get off on people fighting over you. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not going to sit here and fight and fight over and over and over and over. Day in, day out, day in, day out. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not risking my mental health and my peace of mind for no motherfucking body. Okay? You need to learn a lesson. And that lesson is this. You need to grow the fuck up. And Taylor, I'm sorry. But I want nothing to do with you. Ever again. Because of what you did. You fucking used me. You sat there and lied to me. You stabbed me in my fucking back. And you wonder why I don't trust you anymore. And why I cut you off. There's a fucking reason, bitch. I want nothing to do with you. Until you can show me. That you are not about that troll shit. And until you can show me. That you are fully out of that troll lifestyle. And you are not around them anymore whatsoever. And you have no interest. And you are not interested in anything they do. Anything they say. And until you can get your fucking head out of your ass. And get your shit right. I want nothing to do with you. Because Taylor, what you did hurt me. Watching that interview fucking tore me apart. Halfway through the interview, I had to cut the video off. And you want to know why? Because I got sick to my stomach. Because I couldn't believe that the woman that I loved could sit right there and talk so much shit on me. After everything I did for you. And to think I was planning on marrying you at one point. You know, I guess it's true what they say, Taylor. Only fans bitches like you ain't worth a goddamn. Only fans bitches like you ain't worth marrying. So, you're more than welcome to go back to your fucking OnlyFans. I don't give a fuck. Not anymore. If you want to go back to that stupid life and cause your kids to have problems and 
do this and that and the other to fuck up your kids. That's your problem, not mine. If you want your kids to get bullied for the rest of their lives because you had an OnlyFans, that's on you, not on me. I have no interest in being around somebody that not only lies to my face, but stabs me in the fucking back and then turns around and fucking uses me for sex. And in that screenshot, which I do have, which I'm not going to show on here because YouTube would ban me for it. I am not willing to do that. I'm not willing to show that screenshot, but I do have it. But let me tell you this. I have no interest in someone that treats me the way that you did. The way that you fucking used me. The way that you bashed on me. On Marty's panel. I don't give a fuck what your reason was for doing it. It still fucking hurt. That shit still fucking hurt. And like I said, Taylor, the only way I will ever, 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 ever give you a chance later on down the road is if I see for myself that you are not with those trolls, that you are not going on panel. And that you're not bashing on me or lying to my face or using me. Yes, I understand that I did a lot of sexual shit with you in chat. You know, when we were talking in private. And that's fine. But to sit there and want to use me for sex. Which is what you said in that screenshot. Once you sent that, it was over. Once you sent me that message, Taylor, it was over. Because that made me understand that you were using me the whole time. And you didn't truly give a fuck. Because if you gave a fuck, you would not have sent that. And you would not have fucking bashed on me. So, Taylor, I say this. Good fucking luck in life. Oh, one last lesson for you, Taylor. Grow the fuck up. And stop being an OnlyFans bitch. And stop fucking using people. Because maybe if you stop using motherfuckers, you might actually find somebody out there that actually gives a fuck the same way I did. <laughs>